All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your PowerSchool categories along with your category weights. So for categories, you'll go into PowerSchool, click the A plus grading, choose categories. And now your categories from the past are going to show up. If the categories you're currently using are there, you are good to go. You can edit if you want to change the, the name or the color, but you're good to go. If the categories um, that you need aren't there, then you'll simply click create and create those categories that you need. Once your categories are set up, then you're going to come down here to settings and traditional grade calculations to set up your weights. Now, if you use total points, um, PowerSchool defaults to total points, so essentially you're done. You're already set up because it's going to default to to total points. But if you use category weights, then you've got a little bit of work to do. So pick one class, doesn't matter which one, um, pick quarter one or for the high school trimester one, and go ahead and go to actions and we're going to set up our weights. So I'm going to change total points to category. It's going to plop in one of my categories. If I need to change it, I can down arrow and then change and find the category I need. And then what is that weight? And then I'm going to click the plus to add another one, change total points to category. Again, it's going to by default put one in there. If you need to do the drop down arrow, find the one you're looking for. And then what's the weight on that? Then obviously you want all your categories to equal 100%. All right, so I'm good there. I'm going to go ahead and say save. And you're going to notice it changed total points to say category weighting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy what I just set up to my other quarters. I could go in here and say actions and I could just do it all again, but I can also copy it. So I'm going to come up here to the settings. I'm going to say copy traditional grades within a class. I'm going to pick the class that I was just working in. And I'm going to pick the quarter that I just set up. Now notice, total points, total points, and this is the one I set up. So obviously this is the one I want to pick. And then what are the other quarters or high school trimesters that you want to copy that exact same weight to? Pick which ones it is. You're going to validate it. It's going to take just a second. There it goes. And now it's validated. So I'm going to say copy. And now all those total points just changed to category weighting. And if I click on one, you will see it's the exact same setup that I did for the first one that I set up myself. All right, so now what you want to do is if all your sections are the same weighting, then all you need to do is come back up here to your settings, copy. And instead of within a class, we're going to copy to another class. So what's the term that I am using? What's the class that I am using? And now what term? Oops, I'm so sorry. Here I did not select quarter one. My bad. So quarter one, what class? And now, so that's where I'm copying from. And now where I'm copying to, I'm copying it to quarter two. And then I'm going to pick all my classes. And I'll say validate, and then I'll have to wait a minute or so, and then click copy again. And then that same exact weight that I set up here is going to go to quarter two for all of my classes. And then I'll have to come back here, and I'll have to say quarter three. And then again, I'd select all my classes. And then one more time for quarter four. If your trimester is the third time, you're done. All right, so that's how you're going to copy all of your weights into your different sections.